This helped me get to the point that I am now, and something that you can take with you is uh, study. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, athlete, athletics is uh, is not just a physical thing. You know, I try to study my competition. I try to study nutrition. Um, I try to study other great athletes, guys who've done great things in the past, and try to model, you know, myself after them. So I'm big on, on the mental game when it comes to being an athlete, uh, sports psychology and things like that. So really focusing on the mind, not only the body, is important. Do you have moments where you're like, man, how did this happen? Like, how have I been able to stay on top for this long? Do you have moments yeah. where you talk to yourself like that? You know, I uh, I do, and uh, and I always, just pointing back to God, man. Honestly, man, it, it's it's God's grace. And I know everyone's not a believer, and a lot of people think, I wish you just wouldn't talk about God. But it really is God's grace. It really is, man. He has sustained me through so much, through the death of my mother, through, through I mean, facing a four-year suspension, uh, through um, just my dumb <laughs> mistakes. Um, uh, it, He's probably protected me in ways that I don't even know he has. Um, but really, I just point it to God's grace, man. You know, I wear this tattoo on my chest, Philippians 4.13, that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And, uh, and I, I genuinely believe that I can do anything. And um, I'm not surprised that I'm still here. And, um, and uh, I believe that I could possibly be here a decade from now. Mm. It's amazing for a guy who I believe was a janitor, right? And you got into this because you needed to, to yeah. get some money for diapers, right? Yeah, I was I was applying to I was a bouncer actually, making fifty dollars a night, and I was applying to be a janitor because I would have benefits. Wow! And uh, and right when I was waiting to get uh, the call back, um, someone wrote me on on Twitter, 